Do you see my slides? Yes, we can see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, this is Mialia, and I would like today to um, give us some information about a plant called Papaver somniferum, or the dangerous beauty. It's delicious, decorative, and dangerous too. Look at these uh, astonishing fields with amazing colorful flowers. Those are the fields for opium poppy. And these beautiful flowers inspired uh, the great painter Vincent van Gogh to draw one of his iconic uh, paintings, the poppy flowers. And let's talk a little bit about the medicinal plant, the poppy capsule. It is the nearly ripe capsules of Papaver somniferum family Papaveraceae. And somniferum means sleep bringing, which indicates its uh, activity. It's commonly known as opium poppy or bread seed poppy. Opium can be considered one of the most ancient crops that present on Earth. It was found in fossils um, that were um, breathe a written history. And it was associated with different civilizations and in different temples and um, art um, artifacts throughout history. And if you would just follow out the history of opium, you will find it just epic. And several wars arose um, because of opium around the world. So it's pretty much interesting topic to talk about, but I don't have this time, so you may search it. It's really interesting. What is opium? It is a dried latex obtained um, after the incision of the unripe uh, poppy capsule. Uh, when the, the capsule reaches a certain degree of uh, growth, the capsule is the fruit of the plant. Uh, it's still unripe, so they do um, uh, some incisions along the, the capsule, which lead to the exudation of the latex, which is a white um, liquid. And this white liquid just left as it is for one day where it turns to the brown color and starts to dry. This brown thing is, is collected and dried and this is what we call opium. Opium contains at least 40 individual alkaloids, but the most uh, major ones are morphine, codeine, narcotine, narcine, and papaverine. I'll, I'll give a little bit hint about each one of these alkaloids. First uh, is morphine. It is the most prevalent and important alkaloid in opium, and it repre represents about 10 to 15 percent. Morphine binds to and activates the, uh, what's called opioid receptors, and morphine is considered uh, as one of the most powerful analgesic. It's a group of analgesics called narcotic analgesics. It's used to treat both acute and chronic severe pains. Regular use of morphine can lead to tolerance, dependence, and addiction. In um, 1898, heroin was produced after, after treating morphine with acetic anhydride, which is four to eight times more potent and much more uh, addictive too. And guess what? It was produced by buyers and was uh, sold on pharmacies as a cough sedative uh, medication. When we talk about morphine, we say that it's the agonist of opioid receptors. So I will give a little bit hint about the opioid receptors. It's a G protein uh, coupled receptors and found mainly in the central nervous system. It plays an, a crucial role in mediating the effect of opioids. They are um, they involve uh, modulating the brain perception and mood uh, and other physiological uh, effects. There are three main types of the opioid receptors, mu, kappa, and delta. Natural, both natural and synthetic opioids can bind to these receptors and work as agonists, which will lead to um, very complicated um, biochemical interactions. But to summarize, it leads to um, hyperpolarization of neurons leading to inhibition of the release of the nociceptive neurotransmitter neurotransmitters causing the analgesic effect and increase the pain tolerance due to the reduced neuronal excitation. So it decreases the sensation of the pain and um, make adaptance to the pain sensation too. The activation of the neuroreceptors 
in particular is responsible for the pain uh, relief sensation and also for the addictive uh, potential for these drugs. Oxygenous opioids uh, in, uh, include other uh, opioid alkaloids such as codeine, same synthetic opioids such as oxymorphone and synthetic opioids uh, such as fentanyl. fentanyl. There is another group which are the natural agonists for these receptors. These receptors are present in our body and it has its, its endogenous agonist naturally present in our body, which are um, small peptides uh, called endogenous peptides. And they are uh, can be divided into three groups, enkephalins, endorphins, and dynorphins. The second alkaloid in opium is called codeine mainly used to treat pain and coughing. And I'm sure that one of you have used codeine in one of these pain uh, preparations if you have a toothache or some other pain, um, if you have this prescription drug. Codeine is agonist of new receptors too and act on the central nervous system to induce analgesia. Codeine can be metabolized in the liver to produce morphine, which is uh, more active than codeine. The third alkaloid is uh, sabine. It's chemically similar to morphine and codeine, but it has a stimulatory effect rather than the depressant effect. It's not used therapeutically, but used as a prodrug or a precursor to synthesize the semi-synthetic opioid uh, drugs like oxycodone, hydrocodone, and naloxone. Then we have papaverine, which is non-narcotic. It does not have any narcotic activities and does not work uh, um, as an analgesic. It is just a smooth muscle relaxant and effective in this action. It's action mediated by another mechanism away from um, the narcotic analgesics by inhibition of the phosphodiesterase enzyme, causing elevation of cyclic AMB and cyclic GMB. Uh, noscabine, it lacks significant hypnotic and euphoric uh, analgesic effect and does not have this addictive potential and it can be used as an antitussive or cough suppressing drug. Uh, the last thing is meconic acid. It's biologically inactive, but it's found in opium to form salt with these alkaloids and it was historically used to identify these alkaloids. Let's talk about the seeds. I'm sure most of you also have got his breakfast with a bread served with these seeds. Poopy seeds are very popular and common and important for item. Uh, it's rich in uh, unsaturated fatty acids. It's a good source of dietary fibers, great source of protein, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. The seed oil is edible and has many other uses, including pharmaceutical and cosmetic uses. While taking your breakfast using these spreads, have you ever guessed that it might contain um, any of these alkaloids? Actually, it does contain a trace amount or very um, low levels of uh, opiates, ranging up approximately from uh, 40 milligram per kilogram, per kilogram to 210 milligram per um, kilogram. The oil extracted contains even uh, less amounts of these alkaloids. Um, although it has a minor amount, but it was mentioned <coughs> that it can, um, uh, these alkaloids can still be found on uh, the biofluids and it still can give a positive drug test. So if you are having uh, a drug test, please don't take this bakeries at your breakfast. There was an interesting study, which I'm showing here, uh, which uh, collected 15 uh, samples from uh, commercially available um, uh, poppy seeds and uh, analyzes these samples using UBLC and the mass for the presence of three narcotic alkaloids. And they found uh, detectable consider consider considerable amounts of these alkaloids on, the, on all the samples. Um, the levels are variable depending on different, many different factors the cultivars, the way, the, um, the collection method of the seed, the treatment of seeds, because they found out that washing, um, 
preheating treatments can decrease this amount of atlas, but there is no guarantee what treatment happened to the seeds. So we need to take this in consideration. We talked about the good side of opium. Let's talk about the bad side or the dark side, which is opi uh, opioid addiction crisis. It's one of the highly emerging crises, especially in North America. If you um, search about the, uh, some statistics, it's surprisingly high. Uh, I was found that uh, about uh, 3,970 apparent opioid toxicity deaths occurred in Canada from January to June 2023 this last year, which is an average of 22 deaths per day, per day. 22 persons die every day because of overdose of uh, opioids. This is 5% higher than the previous year, 2022, and 84% of this was associated with fentanyl. You will find, um, unfortunately, Alberta was uh, ranked high in these deaths. It's, uh, it's second after British Columbia. So it's a serious problem emerging and we need to um, be watching this, try to find solutions. And finally, I would say whether uh, opium poppy is a blessing or a curse lies within our choices and actions. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. I think this was a great presentation and we learned a lot about different compounds in opium poppy. So I'm